close your eyes. Picture a world of giants. You see them, don't you? Towering reptilian monsters shaking the earth with every step. But what if you're wrong? What if the true titans, the absolute largest land animals to ever exist, weren't dinosaurs at all? That the age of monsters didn't end 66 million years ago, it merely changed shape. For millions of years, after the dinosaurs were reduced to dust, our planet was conquered by a new dynasty of colossal mammalian kings, beasts so immense, so bizarre, they defy belief. A rhino taller than a house, a sloth the size of an elephant, a beaver the weight of a grizzly bear. This is the story that time forgot. This is the truth of the real giants of Earth and you are about to meet them. In this video, we'll uncover the scientific secrets behind these leviathans. We'll explore the brutal reasons for their shocking extinction. And we'll ask a terrifying question, could it happen again? We start in the icy wetlands of Pleistocene, North America. Imagine you're an early human trekking through a frozen marsh. You see a lodge, but it's not made of small twigs. It's a fortress of entire tree trunks and emerging from the water isn't a small industrious rodent, but a creature over seven feet long, weighing nearly 300 pounds. You have just met Castoroides, the giant beaver, but here's the twist that shatters the illusion. This beaver might not have been a builder. Its incisor teeth up to six inches long lack the sharp chisel-like edge of its modern cousins. Instead, they were ridged, almost corrugated. This was not a tree-felling engineer. Stable isotope analysis suggests its diet was predominantly soft aquatic plants. It was a gentle gargantuan grazer of Pleistocene ponds, a peaceful giant whose sheer size was its only defense against predators like the dire wolf or saber-toothed cat. Its fate was sealed not by hunters, but by the disappearance of its wetland havens as the world warmed, a poignant reminder that even the largest creatures are vulnerable to a change in home. Picture a capybara, now inflated to the size of a hippopotamus weighing over a ton. This was the largest rodent to ever live. Its most fearsome weapons were its front teeth, incisors that were not just for gnawing. Analysis of its skull suggests it could generate a bite force comparable to a crocodile's. Scientists believe it used these terrifying teeth-like tusks for combat, for digging up roots, and for defending itself from the formidable predators of its time. It was a guinea pig's ancestor warped by evolution into an absolute unit of a creature ruling the riverbanks with an iron fist, a true monster lurking in the reeds, proving that sometimes nature's most terrifying designs come in the most unexpected packages. Now let's voyage to ancient Australia, a land that has always specialized in the bizarre, and nothing was more bizarrely enormous than Diprotodon. This was the largest marsupial to ever exist. A wombat, but one that was 13 feet long, stood nearly 7 feet tall at the shoulder, and weighed a staggering 3 tons. This was a migratory giant, with herds likely trekking across the arid Australian outback in search of water and food, walking at a pace of about six kilometers per hour. It had a bizarre inward angled walk on surprisingly small feet, but don't let its docile oversized koala appearance fool you. Its jaws could generate a crushing force of over 11,000 newtons at its molars, enough to pulverize tough woody shrubs and desert vegetation. It coexisted with the first indigenous Australians for thousands of years and its remains are sometimes found with potential spear marks, sparking a fierce scientific debate. Did climate change or human activity finally doom this gentle, gigantic browser? Its story is the story of Australia itself, unique, hardy, and ultimately, tragically vulnerable. Now prepare for a legend. Deep in the forested plains of Southeast Asia, hundreds of thousands of years ago, lived a primate that makes a silverback gorilla look like a chimp. This is Gigantopithecus, the real King Kong, standing 10 feet tall and weighing up to 650 pounds. This was a true giant, but here's the mystery. 
We've never found a full skeleton. Our entire knowledge comes from thousands of isolated teeth and a few jaw bones. First discovered in a Hong Kong apothecary shop sold as dragon teeth. And those teeth tell a story of a shocking demise. This ape was a vegetarian, a dedicated connoisseur of fruits and flowers. But when the climate changed, its lush forest began to dry out. Its favorite fruits became scarce during seasonal droughts. But Gigantopithecus made, in the words of lead researcher Ying Qi Zhang, a fatal mistake. It was reluctant to adapt. It failed to change its dietary preferences, stubbornly sticking to its less nutritious backup foods while other apes like orangutans adapted and survived. Its immense size, once its greatest asset, became its prison, preventing it from ranging far to find new food sources. By about 215,000 to 295,000 years ago, the greatest primate to ever walk the earth had vanished, a victim of its own inflexibility in the face of a changing world. A tragic lesson from the past, written in enamel and bone. If Gigantopithecus was the ultimate herbivore, then Andrew Zarkus was its nightmare. Living in the Eocene epoch, this creature is known primarily from a single mind-boggling fossil, a skull that is over three feet long. Now extrapolate from that. This skull with its powerful bone-crushing jaws sat atop a body that was likely the size of a large horse, making it potentially the largest terrestrial carnivorous mammal ever to exist. It's related to modern hoofed animals like sheep and pigs, but this was a hypercarnivorous offshoot, a wolf in, well, in a very, very large sheep's clothing. It was the apex predator of its time, a scavenger and hunter that could have easily taken down any contemporary herbivore. Imagine it, lurking on the ancient plains, a head the size of a person, driven by an insatiable hunger. Andrew Sarkis proves that in the evolutionary arms race, the predators had to grow just as big as the prey. Dinotherium, the terrible beast. This was an elephant, but not as nature intended. It was a proboscidean that grew just as large as a modern African elephant. But its face was a bizarre architectural nightmare. It had no upper tusks. Instead, it sported a pair of monstrous downward curving tusks jutting from its lower jaw. What were they for? The 19th century theories were creative. Some naturalists thought it was an aquatic animal that used these tusks as anchors, literally mooring itself to a riverbank while it slept floating in the water. Others believed they were pickaxes for digging up roots or stripping bark from trees. The truth is, we still don't know for sure. This strange, magnificent creature lived for millions of years, a testament to evolution's weird and wonderful experimentation. Its very strangeness makes its eventual extinction all the more poignant. With Danotherium gone, a truly unique branch of the elephant family tree was lost forever. We're now in the top four, and we return to South America for one of the most iconic mega mammals, Megatherium, the giant ground sloth. Forget the slow-moving, tree-hanging sloth, you know. This was a behemoth that weighed four tons, and when it stood on its powerful hind legs, could stare into a second-story window. Its arms were equipped with massive claws, but contrary to old, old depictions, it wasn't a burly predator. It was a browser, using its claws to pull down high tree branches to strip them of leaves. But make no mistake, those claws could also have been used for formidable defense. We know early humans encountered this giant cut marks on their bones and their presence in human kill sites are chilling evidence of that interaction. For thousands of years, humans lived in the shadow of this gentle giant. Its extinction is a complex puzzle of climate shifts and human pressure, a symbol of the fragile existence of all mega fauna when a new intelligent predator arrives on the scene. Cracking the top three is the most famous of all Ice Age giants, the woolly mammoth. This was the iconic titan of the frozen steppes, covered in a shaggy coat of fur, wielding curved tusks up to 16 feet long. But its fame often overshadows its incredible adaptations. 
This was an animal engineered for the cold with a four-inch layer of fat, tiny ears to prevent frostbite, and tusks that were tools for stripping bark and fighting. Its relationship with humans is etched into cave art and preserved in frozen carcasses, some so complete we found its last meal still in its stomach. The mammoth's extinction was the end of an era. While climate change shrank its frozen grassland habitat, the arrival of skilled human hunters with spears ensured its fate was sealed. The world grew warmer, and the great woolly titan vanished from the mainland with its last dwarf relatives holding out on remote Arctic islands until just 4,000 years ago. Its disappearance marked the end of the true Ice Age world. We have arrived at the top two, and here we have a case of paleontological identity theft. You may have heard the name Indricotherium, or Balakiotherium. Science now knows these were all the same animal, and its true name is Paraxeratherium. And this, this was the undisputed heavyweight champion of all land mammals. This was a hornless rhinoceros that was so large it approaches the theoretical upper limit for a land animal. Stand beside it and its shoulder would be level with the roof of a single-story house. Its head, perched on an enormous neck, could browse leaves 26 feet in the air. For decades, it was said to weigh a mythical 30 tons. Revised estimates bring it down to a more modest 15 to 20 tons, still the weight of three or four large African elephants. These giants are gone, but they are not forgotten. Their fossils are their tombstones, and their stories are our in inheritance. They teach us humility, wonder, and a profound responsibility for the magnificent creatures that still share our world. If this journey into Earth's forgotten past thrilled you, then do the thing that fuels this channel. Smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss our next deep dive into history's mysteries.